Hi, and welcome to Makeup Mug Mug. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's do, let's get ready. I've got to, I gotta film a couple of things that are waiting here in the wings. And I figured let's go ahead and, and do a quick, like, application of some products that I've sort of forgotten about and then some newer stuff. So it's kind of a duo video. This is my little Glam Glow Glow Starter in Nude Glow. Um, it is an illuminating primer, and I had one more little use out of that, and then we are done with it. It's very glowy. Mm, no, nah. it's not very glowy. It's medium glowy, I would say, because I have very glowy would be when I go in with a full-on highlighter on my face, which is pretty glowy, but it's not the glowiest that I could be because I can get real glowy real quick but it works really well and it is um it smells really good it has a little bit of a pinky but not much it's more like peachy not really pinky and it's really nice but it's uh it's a product that it's sitting out here <clears throat> and I need to use it up I need to clean my vanity y'all gonna happen tonight but oh oh this is the lemonade from Arby's it just like it's puckerific it's so good but it also hurts a little bit <laughs> if you haven't drank lemonade from Arby's and you want your life to flash before your eyes in a lemon kind of way. <laughs> I really love lemonade. I love lemonade all the time, but especially in the summer. Um, I'm not like super big on like flavored lemonades. I don't really get down. Like I like, I'm a, I'm a, you know, purist. I like regular old lemonade, but also I do like pink lemonade, not strawberry specifically, but like pink color lemonade. I don't know. It feels fancier. It tastes pink. And so uh, I really like that. But I had uh, a hankering for the lemonade today, and I think they sell, I mean, I think they have like the Minute Maid, like the Coke product lemonade. This is not that. It's like lemonade that they, I think they make it in-house, kind of like Chick-fil-A, which I like their lemonade too, but this is, this is a different level. Arby's, it's like some kind of marketplace lemonade. Give it a whirl if you a lemonade connoisseur. Let's use something we haven't used in forever. And when I'm talking about I forgot I even owned it, I saw Sarah from Lotus Liner use this in a video or say she used it. I can't remember which one. And I was like, oh dang, I have that. So this is the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. I have it in 01 Fair, I think. It's in 01, whatever that one is. And I can't, I mean, I think, did I put it on with my fingers? I literally haven't used this in so long, but I used it like like bottles concave like I use this quite how did I put this on y'all somebody come through and help me did I put let's put it on the let's put it on the um makeup palette that is a candle lid and then let's get it on with a brush okay I'm trying to remember how I did this I love a tinted oil I love a tinted moisturizer skin tint all of that I love all that it's great, especially for summer. That blended so pretty, even with the brush. We're gonna go out with a sponge though. But man, I had forgotten about this stuff. And this, I had to delve oh, way back in the drawer. I mean, I was, look, I remember what it looked like. Like I remember what the bottle looked like when I, when I heard the name of it, I was like, oh yeah. But glory if I couldn't put my hands on it for five minutes. You need that thing where you're like, I know you're in here and you're, you know, tearing everything up, throwing stuff everywhere. That's me. That was me, anyway. So today we've done a lot of nothing. Yesterday was a big day of like family and hanging out for a mom's birthday and like lunch and manicures and pedicures and all that jazz. Lots going on. And I was very happy to do that and also very happy when I was done because 
that's a lot of interaction and a lot of peopling, you know. But today, uh, the bestie came over and sat on the couch for a little while, and we ran our mouths. And Moo came over. Moo is the I have two dogs, Tiny and Moo, which are not their real names. I mean, they are their real names, but not their government names. So anyway, Moo is the more shy dog, and especially when people are over. But she came right on over and sat down, got her rubbies, and they held paws for a while. It was lovely. I like it when that happens. That's really cool. Okay, there's that. I like that. Um, man, I haven't used that in so long. It's nice. It's really nice. I just haven't, I haven't used it. But I think I should. It's a great little travel kind of, there's like the nail polish balls in it, you know, because it is super thin. I mean, you were talking runny, this will like run right off your face. But this is so pretty. It's so pretty. So I need to like use that during the summer because that's when I really like to wear it. Not that foundation is necessarily seasonal, but I get a, I like having super lightweight makeup on in the summer. And so now is the time, friends. Um, I have a couple of videos that I want to film today. One is my haul because I have some new stuff to show you and to get that unpacked and put away and, you know, where I can use it and all that jazz. And I also, I wanted to try to do, I mean, I know that we have favorites videos and things like that from a lot of different content creators, especially in the beauty community. And I think I'd like to do one. I've done a few over the years that were just when I had things I wanted to talk about, then I did. And this is kind of like that. Like I have some things that I've been using for um, some quite a while, some for not as long as others, but I know that I am like hooked. So I want to, I want to talk about them and I think I'm going to do that, um, today so that I remember to tell you about all these things. Some of these things I've talked about before and some things I haven't mentioned at all because they just don't come up in like a normal video that I would be doing with, you know, doing my makeup or hauling or whatever. And so I just want to talk about those things and make sure that I mention them to y'all so that, you know, you know what I like. If you like what I like, you might like it too, or you might have it and just haven't used it in a while. And so I want to encourage you to schlep it back out, you know, things like that. Okay. There is a, I do it every time, Age Rewind by Maybelline in the brightening color under my eyes and Lemonade by Benefit on the old lips. Let's set the face with, and I'm, you know, I could be like convinced to do, oh wait, no, before I set, I, this is the thing I'm telling you. This is one of the things that I was like, I remember loving this and then I put it in the drawer and I haven't pulled it out since. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette. And this is in the shade 20. And it has a blush, a highlighter, a contour, and then another highlighter, really. Um, it is gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. The formula is so good. And I used the out of this when I first got it. And then I moved on to other things. And I haven't used it in for, I mean, like, it's got to be at least a year. It's a long time. So let me try to attempt to find a brush that's not absolutely ridiculously dirty. And let's go for it. I'm going to go with this contoury bronzy shade. Oh, yeah. Oh, I believe this came in a box. I think it did, or I bought it from like a boxy charm sale. I cannot remember. Y'all help me if you remember, but I remember this was not like a purchase from a, like a proper store. And I don't know that I have ever purchased Makeup Forever like straight up because it is expensive, but to me it's also a smidge intimidating because it's, it's very makeup artist centric. Um, in its branding, its color shades, it's like, I don't know, it's kind of a little bit intimidating as a brand to me, maybe not to anyone else. <coughs> oh, 
it is so good. Or so good. But that's a really pretty bronzy shade. Super pretty. And let's go on with the blush shade while we're here. I don't think that the blush shade was like the thing that I loved the most. I think it was the the contour and the highlight. But let's, I mean, it's pretty. There's a hair on my chin. Oh my goodness. But creams have made such an impact on the, well, they've trended so much this year. This was much older than that. And so maybe it just kind of fell by the wayside of folks not really talking about it because it was, you know, so, I say so long ago, but it was so long ago that it's not new and, you know, super viral or whatever, but it is gorgeous. It's so pretty. Let's try this highlighter real quick. I love creams during the summer. I don't really do them as much during the winter. I don't know why. I don't I mean I don't think there's rules, but I don't I don't really find myself using them as much. But this little puppy, amazing. Amazing. Love it so much. Okay, I'm gonna go over it with my sponge. That was the little Care Bears. It's like a little Care Bears um, brush set. It's really cute. Okay, now we can set stuff down. Now, I love that. I wanna keep that out. As I clean my vanity, there are certain things that I like, I want to intentionally use and get use out of. So I'm gonna like try really hard to put away the majority of stuff that I'm not using as much, or I don't necessarily, I kind of have two varieties of things on, that are out on my vanity, typically, that I want to keep on my vanity, not just junk, but like stuff that I want out on my vanity. One category is stuff that is new that I want to use, right? So it's new into my collection, and either I'm, I want to film a video using it or I have hauled it and I want to use it and tell you how I think about it. Like I want to get use out of it and I want to do that like with intention. And then the other is, the other category is stuff that I'm about to use up. Like I want to finish this thing. So, and some of those can be a hate pan. <laughs> I don't want to use this anymore, but it is almost done. And I'll be ding-donged if it's going to get the best of me kind of panty. Or, I really don't hate pan, but I I will use something because it's close to being used up. And I'm like, it's got to, we got to get it out of here. Like, it's got to go. And so, I will absolutely keep things that are almost done on my vanity in order to move them out and empty them. Those two categories of things to me need to be within my sight so that I don't forget to use them. But I get overwhelmed if I've got quite a bit that's new or if I haven't like cleared the decks in a while, that's the thing that gets me. So I set underneath my eyes with the Laura Mercier Secret Under Eye Brightening Powder. That is almost finished. Powder door. I mean, we are almost done with her. That's it. That's all we got left in her. She's very well loved. The flower, whatever. Satin finishing powder is also something that I'd like to use up. It is so bulky. It takes up so much room and I loathe that. But I, it's a good product. It's just terrible packaging. And so I'd like to get that used up as well. It's not a bad powder. It's not my favorite powder. And so that's that's a thing that I'm trying to get gone, I guess, is a good way to say it. Let's real quick run our Essence Thick and Wow Brow Fixing Mascara. This is in the shade Ash Brown. We're gonna run that real quick through the eyebrows just to bring a little bit of color back to them. And then 
set our eye primer. I do want to, I've got a blush that I have from The Depths that I think I've used it once. It's a shame, it's a shame. I've used it once and then it got stuck under a, a pile of other things and it's got a flat like lid. So things stacked on it super easy and then it was lost. <laughs> it was just lost to me. So I do want to use the Bare Minerals Bronzer and Kiss of Pink. I just, I think it's so pretty, but it just got, it was at the bottom of a tear and I lost it. So let's use that real quick. Probably want a little bit more bronzer, but I mean, that's a pretty, pretty blush with a pretty finish. It's so pretty. Ah, I love it. It's so cool. That's so pretty. I don't want things to get lost. That's the, I mean, that's just, that's when you have a giant collection, you have a lot of things, you can very easily get overwhelmed and things get lost. You forget that you have it. You forget to use it. When you're in a rush, if you don't have it like in front of you, you just use the same things every day, unless you intentionally go through your collection, which is what I need to do. I need to be better at that and I'm trying. You're gonna come along with me. Okay. Let's get, do I want a little bit more bronzer? I think I do. And let's use Hula White. She's at this little duo from Benefit. This is the Secret Oasis. We've got um, Willa and Hula, Hula Light. Let's use, there they are. Let's use Hula Light today. I have not used Hula Light in a hot minute, y'all. In a hot minute. I think I have like, I don't know that I have a full size of Hula Light, but I think it might be in one of the cheek palettes that I have from Benefit, which is one of my very favorite like face cheek palette companies in the world. They come out with a cheek palette, I'm gonna want it. Even if I already have those other shades, like in other, I don't care, I still want it. I love the smell of Benefit products. I love their, I love their bronzers. I love their highlighters. I love their blushes. I love them all. That's a cute little thing. It's new this summer to me. Okay, nose is itching, so we know it's good. So we know it's good. All right, let's do a quick eye look. This is not like super impactful, like crazy look, but I do want to do uh, a little bit of a kind of a bronzy maybe. That's my Karopi shirt. It's really cute. Maybe a bronzy? Let's spray her face first while we think. We're almost done with this too. <laughs> we don't love the smell, but it does a beautiful job, but we don't love the smell. Okay, let's see here. I have my, this is sitting next to me, my Kuvai Kai Angelic palette, which is absolutely gorgeous. I had a shade that I broke, but we... We smushed it back together. So I think we're gonna do a little bit of a bronzy look. And it, it may get a little bit smoky, but that's okay. That's all right. We're doing good. Okay. Let's see here. Let's get that little bit of a like transition caramel brown. Sloppily, like in the crease and above, just smashing it on there. It's gonna be a little bit grungy. Who cares? Super fast. It's amazing how many people are like, oh, I can't spend, you know, a lot of time on my makeup. But sometimes I'm like, you really don't have to. Like, I've run my mouth and we've been doing this 19 minutes and we're almost done. Like, <laughs> And I had many steps that you may not even want or need to do for your makeup. Just saying. You may not need as much time as you think to do something that looks like you took a lot of time. I love those tricks where it looks like it's a big deal. It's not. I'm cleaning off some of the purple from the other day. And 
I think we are going to do like a, a bronzy brown. So let's get a little bit of the deeper chocolate in the outer corner and just, I'm going to putting it in the crease for right this moment and then we'll get to it we'll get to blending in just a second this is just a real a, you know flat shadow brush that has a bit of fluff to it but not very much at all and it'll lay down color for me real quick and then we can go from there to get like specific stuff okay same brush as before and just windshield wiper motions in the crease Then you can do small circles if you want. And just blending that out so that when the eye is open, you see the depth, but it's not super like crazy harsh. See that? Like you, you can see the depth there, even with my eye open, but it's, it's not crazy. I've got, for these favorites that I want to do, I've got, like, scents and book. Like, maybe not just makeup, but I'm going to tell you all about them. And then if you don't like it, you can let me know. But, you know, I'm going to talk to you, tell you what I think. Okay, that's blended. Enough for me. All right, I'm going to take that brush and put it in my little color switch thing and then which one okay I think I, I think I want this one all right we're gonna try it with a brush first it's like a rosy bronze shade you know, sometimes they're like orangey, coppery, you know, all different colors. This one's got a bit of a rose tinge to it, which is absolutely gorgeous. Right? So pretty. I'm just putting it all over the mobile lid and, and it up into the crease, like right where I ran that darker brown. And taking my floofer and going right over top. That's it, like super pretty. It's not super smoky because it's we're not using super dark colors, but it's so pretty. I'm telling y'all, if you haven't ventured out into trying by Kai, I would like for you to because it is absolutely worth it. All right, this is her crazy shiny shade up in the top corner, and I'm just going to put some of that in my inner cavern real quick. And make sure we all blend it. Look at that, right? Right, gorgeous. All right, if you wanted to, you could, as I throw things, you could stamp the that chocolate brown on your lash line as a liner so let's do that real quick so that we have a little bit of some darkness focused at the lashes but not black Even though I like black on the line, on the lash line and all that. I just think brown would look much nicer, cleaner. It's pretty, right? Yes. No fallout. We're loving it. Okay. Angelic palette. Go get you some. Okay. Let's do some lashes, lashes, and let's do um, we'll use that 
MUA Makeup Academy Amplify Statement Lash. It's a pretty one. I don't know that I would purchase this one again, but I have it and I like it. So it has the little ball at the end, like the They're Real from Benefit. If you like that style and you're placing an order with Makeup Academy, I have a whole video on that haul and I did an entire face with them. So affordable and they're so cool. Like such good products. This is a decent mascara. But again, I wouldn't be like, let me place an order for that mascara. Mm -mm. Not, not that, not that great. There you go. A little something, something. Okay, lips are gonna be real easy today. Let's use, actually, let me use that thing that I showed you yesterday. This is the Jordana Twist and Shine. It's not available anymore. But, this is a nude cheek. It's the perfect nude. I love it so much. It's not available anymore. You can't get it, but it's a thing. There's my face. I think it looks really cool. I think they look good. I'm super glowy and pretty, but I don't feel like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. Like I really don't. And it, I look put together, which is what I was wanting. So yay, thanks for hanging out with me and doing our makeup. Let's uh, let's haul some stuff. And let me tell you about my, my uh, recent favorites. Hit subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And hit like, cause it does help up my channel. And let's be friends on the internet, okay? Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you soon.